You said using cash machines is difficult when you're visually impaired. Hello, my name is Chris McCausland. I'm a stand-up comedian and I'm also blind. And I'm here to tell you about these, Barclays new talking cash machines. In the past, I haven't always had that much luck with machines that can talk, if I'm honest with you. A lot of the things I own at home talk, and I've got a talking microwave when you beep, 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 three minutes. Beep, defrost bread. That's quite handy, isn't it? It's got one of them big conjunky buttons at the bottom that you conjunk and it fires the door open at you. And as you conjunk and fire the door open at you, it says, door open. <laughs> Do you think I don't realise I just did that? You close it with your own hand, it says, door closed. I've got a patronising microwave. <laughs> it might as well just say, you're in the kitchen, Chris. <laughs> Do you need help? So if you can't see, using a cash machine hasn't always been the easiest thing to do. OK, so there was a bump on the number five, but apart from that, you just had to press all the buttons at random and see what happens. I think there's a small chance it might have been me that started the recession doing that. Or you had to remember exactly what button to press and in what order. Come on, happen to remember things. That's so 2005. I was in Glasgow. I came across a Pelican Crossing that spoke instead of beeping. Because we know where we are with the beeps, don't we? Beep, 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 you cross the road. It's just encoded into your brain. It's second nature, you know. But rather than beep, this one spoke. But it wouldn't go as far as to tell you that the cars had actually stopped, maybe for some kind of legal reasons. It wasn't allowed to be that definite about the, the, what was unfolding in front of you. So what we would do is it would announce that the cars from the left have been advised to stop. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I've done all I can, but I can't promise you anything. You've got to take your own chances in this world. So if you want to use one of these machines, you've got to bring your own earphones, which means that the first task will almost certainly be untangling your earphones. Strange, isn't it? We live in a world where we can transplant a human face and we've still got tangly headphones. You can spot talking cash machines, because they're the ones with the, the, the headphone socket on the, on the thing, because you've got you've to put headphones into the machine for it to talk. Obviously, it doesn't just blur out. Enter pin! Four, two, eight, seven. <laughs> Giving you 300 pounds in cash now. Just a shifty bloke behind you with a hammer and a biro writing your pin number on his hammer. <laughs> Forgotten his pad, isn't he? <laughs> With the new talking cash machine, it's so much easier. Of course, you mightn't always want to hear what it's got to say to you. The last thing I need reading out loud to me at the start of a night out is my bank balance. The last, last thing I need reminding of is my failure in life to even have as much as zero. <laughs> Just lie to me. <laughs> We've now introduced over 3,000 audio cash machines across the UK. To find the one nearest you, go to barclays.co.uk slash branch locator. <laughs>